So what do you do when you experience deep failure? We've been talking about it almost all week long, and today we're moving into the very next episode. So catch you there. All right, so today we'll continue our series talking about how to recover from deep failure. In the previous episode, we talked about the fact that you should not allow the negative feelings and emotions change you in a negative way. Today we're going to be talking about something a lot different and I'm excited about it because this is actually the first step to coming out of this particular experience. But before we go into what we have in store today, I want you to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much. Okay, so we talked about the fact that, yeah, when a person experiences this type of thing, they have negative emotions and negative thoughts. They might want to become villains. They might want to become evil people <laughs> if they were good. You know, imagine being in a relationship where you are faithful, you, are, you, you were committed for two years, you never cheated on the person or whatever, and the, you discovered that for the entire two years, that person was cheating on you. Now, it might want to make you change your personality to say, you will never be faithful in a relationship again. Everybody is a cheater, so you just have to continue cheating and so on and so forth. But what I'm saying is, and what we were saying in the previous episode was you don't have to change in that way. You can continue to be who you are and begin to create a situation where you can have the best that is for you. Today we're talking about something deep and something amazing. I'm talking about positive self-talk and positive affirmation. You see, when you're going through that particular type of experience that like we said in the previous video, a lot of negative thoughts and a lot of negative ideas are going through your mind. And the way to fight it is to fight it with positive thoughts and positive ideas. How? Well, you could get information and knowledge that, that encourages you and inspires you for the future, either through books or through audio lectures or through watching videos like these and various types of videos that give you the information and the encouragement that things can get better. And you can begin to believe in all of that. You can also talk to a counselor or talk to a therapist or somebody especially if you're going through some type of depression or you're having suicidal thoughts, depending on the depth of what you might have been through. However, when it comes to self-help, which is self-help, that means if you don't have access to a counselor, you don't have access to all of these things, you want to help yourself, positive affirmations and positive self-talk is the way to go. You see, you've got your conscious mind and you've got your unconscious mind, you've got your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind responds to suggestions, okay? So it's very dangerous if all the information that's going into your subconscious is negative. Your subconscious can begin to respond in that way. Scientists and psychologists will tell you how powerful it is for the mind to receive positive suggestions and positive ideas. So one day I was seated thinking about life, thinking about how to produce certain things that were in my heart and so on and so forth. And the information hit me that, and it was an information that made me sad, but it also made me really, really happy at the same time. It was the information that if I don't do anything about my situation, my situation cannot change. Now it made me sad because I used to believe in destiny in a particular way. I used to believe in fate in a particular way. I used to think that if it was my destiny to be rich, I was going to be rich no matter what. If it was my destiny to be a success, I was going to be a success no matter what. If it was my destiny to be this and to be that, it was going to happen no matter what. That is not entirely true. In fact, that is not true. If I don't do the things I'm supposed to do to get into those places, I will never get into those places. If we don't do what we need to do to achieve the things that we want to achieve, we will never achieve them. Now, on the one part, that is something sad because it means that you can't be lazy and still achieve greatness. <laughs> 
but it's also good because it means that your destiny is in your hands. It means that the change that you desire to see is in your hands. It means that your hopes and your dreams and your expectations, they are all in your hands. And that's a good thing. So it doesn't matter anybody who doesn't want you to succeed. It doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter what anybody tries to do. If you can engage your inner resources in the best way that is possible, you can achieve anything. And that's where positive affirmation and positive self-talk comes in. You've got to be able to tell yourself. You've got to be able to believe these things and believe in yourself. That look, there is unlimited resources in your subconscious. And the way to unlock it is to tell yourself the things that you need to hear. Now, you're not lying to yourself. You are engaging the best of yourself. So when your mind tells you that you're not going to succeed, you say to yourself that you're going to succeed. I am going to succeed. I am still going to come out of this. I'm still going to be the best that there is. I'm going to figure out a solution. A solution is coming to my mind. My mind is constantly thinking about a solution right now. My mind is constantly thinking about a new way, thinking about a new future. You talk to yourself like that. I am bold. I am confident. I can do anything. Nothing is impossible for me. When you speak those things to yourself, something happens in your mind. Now the question is, are you lying to yourself? You're not lying to yourself. You're giving yourself the information that is true. The fact might say that you have failed and you're a failure, but the truth is, you're not a failure. It is still possible for you to do something great and awesome. The evidence has shown us hundreds of people that have come out of impossible situations and still achieved amazing things. So if that evidence is there, that evidence should be an indicator that if it can happen for them, it can happen for you. If they can make it happen, you can make it happen as well. But you have to commit the positive affirmation, the positive self-talk. You need to speak to yourself every morning. When you wake up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself some positive things. You tell yourself some amazing things about what's going to happen today and in your life. And it's not a function of how you feel. It's a function of what you believe. It's a function of how you want to believe. Even if you don't really believe it, at some point, as you keep telling your subconscious those things, you will begin to believe it eventually. Okay, so the question now is, how do you do positive affirmations? How do you do uh, positive self-talk? It's simple. The negative things that your mind is telling you, just tell yourself the opposite. That's it. If you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions, don't, afraid, don't be afraid to contact me. I'm always available to talk to you. And if you need counseling or, con or consultations on anything, uh, business development, self-development, self-help, contact me and I'll be able to talk to you. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, remember, your dream is possible. Remember, the title says a successful business. The title didn't say starting a business because I want you to avoid 